This busy intersection remains closed this evening. It all started, that incident all started over there behind my shoulder, just over my shoulder at the busy Walmart parking lot. You can almost see the sign from here. A witness told 911 they saw the man stab himself in the neck with a knife. That man drove just uh, less than a couple hundred yards over here to this intersection before he was confronted by police. Subject is getting up and has a knife heading towards Walmart Associate and he has blood on his throat. Police dispatch audio shows how a terrifying scene at this busy West Sacramento shopping center quickly went from bad. He is attempting to contact the subject in his vehicle at the exit of IKEA. To worse. He has three suspects down. He's still moving. The gun's under his body. A witness captured this video right after police shot the man. The guy came out and started going towards him with uh, something on them and then they, they, they couldn't stop them so they started shooting them over here. This was the aftermath. A police cruiser with bullet holes, another with a flat tire. Officials with West Sacramento Police say the man was armed when police shot and killed him. They're not saying what kind of weapon he had. A use of deadly force is something that we take very seriously at the West Sacramento Police Department and it is a last resort when there are no other options available. Now, no one else was injured during that incident. Woodland Police is taking over the investigation as an outside agency. Now, we are told that police body and dash camera video was recording during the incident, and that should offer quite a bit more insight into what exactly happened here this evening. And we, as you just saw, uh, this intersection, this busy intersection that's been closed down for more than six hours has now reopened. Back to you.